K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello, gamers, simmers, and truck drivers, delivery enthusiasts. I don't know, is there such a thing as a delivery enthusiast? <laughs> Maybe. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator, where we build our business, the killer cargo business. Um, delivering things from city to city across states. Uh, we've been... Uh, checking out uh, the new content that I have gotten with uh, Idaho and uh, we're gonna be checking out uh, Colorado as well so let's go ahead and jump into this and uh, let's get going uh, okay so we are fully rested let's take a look at the map here and see if maybe there's a place to maybe get some repairs done on the vehicle um, nope I guess we're going to keep driving the way the way we're driving. Well, let's take a look at jobs and see what we have in regards to the job market. We want to get something that's going to take us into Colorado. So we're currently in Elko. Let's see, Elko, Twin Falls, Idaho, Salt Lake City, Utah. That's in the right direction. There we go. Right. Ooh, that's a good pay, too. Look at that. 40000 That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Yep, that's going to take us... That's going to take us through Utah and into Colorado. That totally works for me. You are about to set for a heavy haul job. Review your current truck configuration to make sure it's up to the task. Yeah, sure. Looks like it. <laughs> Public storage. Diner. Yeah, I could go for a uh, burger, fries, and a shake right now. Man, that sounds good right now, doesn't it? Alright. Let's go get that delivery. That's a good paying delivery, too. <laughs> Probably should turn on the lights, you know. <laughs> What's this idiot doing over here? red light showing there on the dash in the middle. I don't know what that is. What is that? A check engine light? That could be a bit disturbing. <laughs> check the engine on your vehicle. 
Out of zone. Get in the zone. Out of zone. Not a sponsor. UPS over there. Ah, here we go. Let's get that job in Colorado, or to Colorado. Look at that. Pueblo, Colorado. That's a great paying job. Look at that. Yeah, I don't... I don't care. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, where... where... where is it? It's over there. Truck back this way. Okay. Hook her up. Fifth wheel locked. Load it. <laughs> well, hello, Gabriel. How are you? Okay, 751 miles. This is going to be one heck of a drive. Uh oh. <laughs> we got caught behind the. <laughs> uh, can we get around it? Ah! Okay, apparently I'm going to need to make a wide turn here. Okay, that should be good enough. There we go. Oh, piss. I did not go through the freaking red light. doing pretty good Gabriel other than getting fined six hundred dollars for supposedly going through a red light when I didn't
Other than that, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We are on our way. Oh, look, the check engine light's no longer on on my vehicle. Or whatever that was in the center of the dash, I don't know. We're a little, little slow to move here, but... Uh, We're moving. <laughs> yeah, for us in this channel, yeah, you know, a, a normal six hundred dollar. What? 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 I just got my speed up, and now I have to slow every single time. Every time I have to. Struggling to get my speed up. They want me to pull over. Pull over. Pull over, over. I need to check your way. That just sounds wrong. <laughs> Stand right here. Your vehicle's not in perfect technical state. State. Be more careful. Mind your own business. My vehicle states none of none of <laughs> none of your business. Just just weigh the stuff. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't look at my vehicle. Just weigh it. Okay. Back to 80 miles per hour again. Look at the sun coming up, the sunrise, with the uh, the ray the the rays of light coming through, and then the chainsaw, which <laughs> well, nothing says good morning like a chainsaw, but the chainsaw's kind of dangling there, and then you can see the rays of light going around it. That's kind of cool. I sure hope I don't get a find that, that that that's that big. My goodness. Hey, look at that. According to the dash in the middle, our fuel economy is 5.6 miles per gallon. Woohoo! Wow. That is fantastic. It's a beautiful morning. Okay, here we go. Nice 12-hour drive here. 
690 miles to go. Don't panic, it's not a real 12 hour drive. Holy hell if it was. Yeah, let's just go over here. Ooh, tunnel. Ooh. <laughs> I should have honked the horn. We'll do that next time. Next time there's a tunnel, we'll honk the horn in a tunnel. Ooh. Look at the ray of light there going around the, uh, the edge of the... Window. Just like Flight Simulator, put it on autopilot and look. <laughs> it works the same way, right? <laughs> okay, we are entering Utah. Are you kidding me? We gotta do it again? That's because we're in a whole nother state, aren't we? You discovered a new viewpoint. I'm gonna take the people at this way station and show them a viewpoint. Here's my viewpoint. Stop stopping me. Sorry, just now looking at your messages there, Gabriel. Sixty MPH. Actually, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch what you were saying, but I didn't hear any sirens, so I think we're all good. Speed limit here is eighty. Oh, 
know what? I can probably turn my lights off. There we go. there. Over those trees. I don't know. I just see something off over there. Over there. Salt Lake City. Apparently I haven't been to Salt Lake City. I thought I had already uh, got there um, in previous plays. I guess not. to the, the left. Not sure. It's over there! <laughs> I'm 
Provo. Now, I think we have been here before as far as our deliveries. I thought we'd been to Salt Lake. Apparently not. Or maybe that was a different uh, video series I was working on. Oh my goodness, what the heck is all this? <laughs> okay, here we go. We got a turn right here. Try not to hit a lamppost. Hey, I'm just going to pull in front of you. Okay, so we are on Route 6. See, we're not on 66, so we're not going to get our kicks on 66. We'll just get a leg up on Route 6. I think that's how that works. Oh, I guess we have not been to Provo. Huh. I must have not done a whole lot of Utah driving when I got this, uh... When I got this DLC. I know I did something in Utah, but... Maybe I didn't do as much as I thought I did. Well, see, then we're doing pretty good then with all these long drives. We're, we're going through some states that we haven't gone through yet. We're getting our money's worth. <laughs> Look at those windmills. pretty cool. The landscapes are absolutely awesome. I mean, both this and Euro Truck Simulator are just a joy uh, to, to play. And we do the uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 on the channel as well. Oh, that's what the sound is. Are those things moving? I think the, the windmills, they turn. They... I don't mean the windmill thing itself. I mean the whole thing, like, turn. Microsoft Flight Simulator is is good, but I mean, okay, here's the thing between this and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Roads look like roads <laughs> here, and Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, they're like, uh, green smudges or something. Roads do not look the greatest in Microsoft Flight Simulator. They look a lot better in X-Plane 11.
Heck it, they look they look better in X Plane 10. X Plane 10, X Plane 11, the roads look better. They even got trains. Okay, that's what that is. Whoa. <laughs> I thought there was a dust uh, dust devil or something over there. Oh, man, again? I, these people are obsessed with my weight. Now look at this. Now I gotta wait. There we go. I think we got it now. Whoops. <laughs> Apparently I had a key on my keyboard. <laughs> Hey, you know, ain't nothing like hitting your parking brake while you're, you know, at 20 miles per hour. What could go wrong? I don't know. the loan installment was paid. Interesting how you say Microsoft Flight Simulator is a flight simulator. That's debatable. Some of the aircraft do fly okay and some of the aircraft fly like garbage putrid garbage I I have more problems with the with the jets uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator the autopilot is just dog crap and for some reason, the handling, the way those uh, the jets and the airliners handle in that are just awful. What the? Uh-uh. No, we're going around this. I got time for your silly road games. Charged. Yep. I was charged up. All right, we're here at price. <laughs> Name your price. I don't know. But yeah, no, it's... The general aviation, on the other hand, works pretty decently. Like, I, I flew the Grand Caravan um, earlier this morning. That was a joy to fly. The Grand Caravan is was very nice. The autopilot works just like you think it would. Um, and I also flew a, a bush plane. It was one of the... I forget what it was called, but... It flew really, really nicely, too. So some of the planes in Microsoft Flight Simulator are nice. And then there are some that are just... Garbage. Uh, the Bonanza. The Bonanza G something... I have problems with that plane, too. Yeah, 
Yeah, but you know, the thing about the airliners is that I have, like, uh, three study-level aircraft on uh, P3D. I have the 737 Zebo mod over on X-Plane. I've got no problem flying those. They fly just fine, and they handle well. And what's on Microsoft Flight Simulator does not, at least not for me. I even have that mod for the Airbus, and it just... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with it. It just does not handle the same. I've always liked the the, uh, the flight characteristics better on X-Plane. Um, the way it flies just flies a lot better, I think. But what in the heck is all of this? Okay, I don't know what this is, but we're going around it. Are we in Colorado now? I'm not sure if we are. <laughs> okay, Gabriel, I'm, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> as far as the Airbus, I am with you on that. I have the, uh, the Aerosoft collection for FSX and P3D for the Airbus. Holy hell on high water. I cannot figure out how to get that stupid <laughs> that stupid autopilot to work on that thing. It's like you have to walk backwards and do backflips uh, in order to get the autopilot to turn on and do, do, do what you want it to do. But here, here's the irony. When um, Flight Sim first came out, I did actually fly the Airbus, and it flew fine. I was actually able to fly it. It seems like the flight characteristics have been getting worse with each of these updates that they've been doing. Because I, I have flown like the 747 and the Airbus and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 before, and it seemed okay. And now they are—they've got problems. So, Could just be me. I mean, I do fly a lot of flight simulators. And it's not just Flight Sim 2020 and X-Plane, but I do all the other ones, too. Going all the way back to the Flight Sim 1, Flight Sim 2, and... Yeah, so I do a lot, I do a lot of different flight simulators. Yeah, we are in Colorado. Okay, well, that's cool. New content, everyone! Colorado! I just recently bought this. Thank goodness we do not... See, Colorado doesn't care about our weight. And neither do we, so <laughs> off we go.
yes, I do know about uh, them having the theme song. I actually have mine set up that way. Technically, FSX has got like, what, five? I think they have five uh, themes that you can uh, switch between. But yeah, I did know about that. My mine is set up that way. Grand Junction. We're going to be turning here in a moment. All right, anybody coming? You know what we probably are going to need? We're probably going to need gas. Oh, and we're going to need to sleep too, so... Let's take a look at the map. Let's see if there's any place... Oh, I see... Okay. We're there, but I do see... Yeah, we've got a place coming up here that we'll be able to stop. That works. But that's where we are, and we're going to Pueblo, so we're on our way. Go arounds, missed approaches. Nah, we don't do that on this channel. No, that's not in our vocabulary. Missed approaches and go-arounds are not in our vocabulary. There is a train. There it is. Where is the train? There he is. <laughs> We're out in the middle of the street just watching the train. <laughs> uh, see, now I can jump in the train simulator and we can uh, do some stuff with that. Yes, I do have train simulator. And I got train sim world also. I have not touched those in a bit either. I don't have the sequel to Train Sim, uh, Train Sim World. I just got the first one. What the heck? Well, that's a car out in the middle of the... <laughs> What's the car that was halfway out into the, the road? Yep, see, Ryanair, that's perfect. That is... That's kind of our thing. <laughs> I'm driving here! <laughs> I should follow after that car. That's what I should do.
Yeah, Ryanair. Um, what was it? I think uh, one of the flights that I did on Flight Sim 2020, I flew a, a Ryanair. I think it was an I think it was an Airbus because I knew it wasn't going to go. I knew it was not going to go well, so <laughs> I I picked an appropriate airline to go with it. vehicle did you see it I didn't see it I think there's something about the small town I think they make up stuff Maybe it was the trailer. Maybe the trailer hit something. Well, maybe I hit something. I don't know. <laughs> Just testing to make sure that thing was solid. Apparently it is. Prius. <laughs> they think they own the road. Wait till they get a load of me. Azul. I think I've seen that. I think I've seen that on, uh, like, uh, liveries, like, kind of switching through, trying to, uh, when picking a livery, I think I came across Azul. Would make sense. It starts with an A. And uh, a lot of the liveries that I go through are in alphabetical order. Ah, okay, we got a turn here. Yeah, you like my chainsaw there? Listen to the sound of my voice. Tick tock, tick tock.
Oh, I just passed the, uh, crap. <laughs> Wait, was that the uh, gas station that we wanted? Let's see. Yeah, it was. Oh, crap, that's where we want to go. Is there another place up here? No, not until Pueblo. We better turn around. I don't think we're going to have enough gas. Hey, Eric, excuse us. <laughs> Which is good. We're just going to make our way around here. We might have enough fuel to get there, but I don't know. The last, the last delivery we did. We didn't have enough fuel, so. We gotta get, gotta get sleep too. Don't want to get charged two hundred dollars for not sleeping. Might be able to turn, but I know this thing has been like really sensitive about red lights. So at the moment, I'm not. Do we have a green? Oh, there we go. Pull in right here. The driving drive through. They don't have gas. We have to go over here. Okay. Fill it up there. Two dollars and seventeen cents a gallon. That's not bad. Do I like cars? Yes, I like cars. Take us full. I do, I do, I like cars, I like cars. We stuck. Okay, apparently we're not going to be able to get all the way through here, so we're going to have to go around. Make a wide turn here. Near, 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 near.
We're going to Pueblo. Pueblo, Colorado. That's where we're going. We're just we're gonna get some rest here and some sleep. We're just gonna park just like this. Ooh, it is dark. It's two in the morning. I've made the mistake of hitting the enter key a second time. And then you wind up sleeping a whole nother eight hours, so... <laughs> Be sure you don't hit the enter key another time. Let's go around this way. <clears throat> So we got ourselves some sleep, we got some fuel, we are good to go. What's up with all these trucks? It's two in the morning. What is up with all this? I don't know, there are a lot of trucks driving around at that time of the morning. Look at this. Is guy here. What's the matter? You can't drive around or something? Well, we may not be able to get out of here. Oh, you know what I could do? <laughs> yeah, this is what we're going to do right here. Montrose, Colorado. Say goodbye to them. We are continuing our way to Pueblo, Colorado. What kind of driving is this? <laughs> the uh, the night driving is really cool in this. I was gonna hit that post. Look at that guy. Here, let me give you a <laughs> let me give you a a, a a nudge there, buddy.
Turn our high beams on. I'm sure that guy up there won't mind. Do I like making these streams? Yeah, I like the I like doing these streams. And many times uh, while I'm streaming, I will be recording because I'll be recording uh, footage that'll be used in episodes. Um, I tend to do that so that way uh, people can be a part of the actual uh, shows and see it weeks and months ahead of time. Some stuff I still record offline. So like the Flight Sim 2020 series, I I actually do that one. Uh, the World Tour series, that is. Well, I can't see anything with that. So yeah, the Flight Sim 2020 World Tour series, that one I actually record offline. But there's a lot of stuff that I actually do uh, I'll record and I will stream at the same time. Oh my word, we got ourselves a... Uh wicked route that we got to follow here. But yeah, I love streaming. It gives me a chance to interact with my viewers and uh, I think of myself as, a, as an entertainer and a, a video maker more than just a gamer. Gaming is just a is just a platform that I use for uh, entertainment, but but yeah, I enjoy the streaming. I enjoy being able to chat with people and interact with them and. These days, we just need uh, a little bit more light in the world. Too much darkness out there. Oh, man. Driving out here in the night is actually making me tired. Okay, this is crazy. All right, let's let's get around these guys. Come on, guys! Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go around them there. Perfect! Now we don't have these slow vehicles in front of us. I am streaming on Twitch. <laughs> I'm multi-streaming right now. I'm on Twitch and YouTube. And as a matter of fact, if you watch on Twitch, you get to earn killer points. Points that you can use to redeem for some cool things and activities and stuff. Don't have that on YouTube, but on Twitch, yeah, we got killer points there, so. <laughs> Let's 
sometimes I'll multi-stream and then sometimes I'll just do streaming on Twitch and sometimes uh, there'll just be certain streams on YouTube. So it just depends. I was actually just going to do a uh, Twitch stream today, but I decided to do a multi-stream with uh, Twitch and, uh, and YouTube. Hey, that cop car in front of us. Hey! <laughs> I dare you. Go behind a cop car and do this to them. See what happens. By the way, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. You don't know me, right? I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do, do this. Well, shit. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh, crap. Um <laughs> uh, crap. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let's see, what does it look like outside? <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to get this thing on off on the road. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, let's see. View services and adjustments. What can we do here? Can we tow to service? Let's do that. Alamosa. Alamosa? Oh man. It's going to take us a while to get there. Well, this is going well. <laughs> uh, what's what? <laughs> okay, so what's my name in? Uh, it's Killer Gamer, K I L R Gamer, one word. Oh wait a minute! I don't want to buy a truck. Yeah, I want. I thought it was asking me if I wanted to do some repairs or something. Wait, this is not my. This is not my truck. What the heck is this? This is not my truck. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it is. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. How far away are we anyway? <laughs> okay, we're down here, so we just need to go up there. Cool. Can we go around? 
I don't know, let's see. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> we're making our way around here. Rank, 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 rank. Oh, see, here's the repair thing right here. Let's see. All right, let's get some service down here. That's more important than delivering. Okay, so... Holy smokes! It's going to cost us... Oh, no, that's our money. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's going to cost about 3000 to get things fixed. That's fine. Get everything fixed up. There we go. See, we're in good shape now. All right, traffic. Traffic. T cost system okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. No, we ain't got time for this. Okay, now you're going to move. Okay. There it is. Get moving. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, I did not go through the red light. I swear, I gotta like stop like one mile away from the intersection in order to avoid getting a ticket. should unlock the differential during regular driving. I have no idea what it was just telling me. Pizza, pizza house. I think that's what that says. Yeah. That sound kind of sounds tasty too. A little bit of pizza. Pizza, pizza. I 
I've got that little red icon there in between the steering wheel that looks like a check engine light, but can't be because I I just got this thing fixed, so I don't know what it is. Well, this delivery has been an adventure. <laughs> what else could happen <laughs> on our way to Pueblo, Colorado? Hot dog, sandwiches, pizza, dinner! Ugh. That guy brake checked me. Jerk. Sightseeing time. Real ground. Okay. When am I going to host another Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream? Don't know, actually. I've got some other things that I have been wanting to uh, stream, so I'm not quite sure when um, I'll do another one. Because there's a uh, Flight Simulator 2000 one that I want to do. Oh, what else? I think I still have, like, Fly 2K. Or just basically Fly to still do. And I've been wanting to d dig into Sublogic ATP, Airline Transport Pilot. And there is an X-Plane 11 uh, stream that I've been wanting to do also. So. Going around, bouncing around back and forth between stuff. But every day is a different theme on uh, Twitch and uh, Killer TV, that is. So Friday is dedicated to Flight Simulator. So anything Flight Simulator, Flight Simulation uh, goes on Friday. Saturday is Sim Saturday, so that could be what you're seeing right now. Um, also, we do uh, Cooking Simulator course there are the train simulators and also we've done flight simulator on Saturday as well Tuesday and Wednesday uh, are pretty much open so there's like terrific Tuesday and whatever Wednesday so pretty much anything on those days Thursday is Throwback Thursday, so that's um, old games, old retro games. So that could also be like an old classic flight simulation game. And Monday is dedicated to Minecraft. And then Sunday is Sci-Fi Fantasy Sunday. Now, I can't always uh, live stream as much as I'd like to, uh, but I do try to get uh, content released 
almost on a daily basis on uh, Killer TV to keep everyone uh, entertained. We definitely got some uh, some sci-fi stuff coming up. Got plans on uh, playing Portal Two. I've already done the first one. I have played the second one before, just haven't done a stream or a recording on it. And we'll also be getting back to Empyreon Galactic Survival and uh, No Man's Sky as well. Somewhere down the road we'll be doing uh, Spore. Oh, what other sci-fi games do I have? I know there's some other ones too. There's Star Trek Online. We do that one as well. So I do a, do a variety of different types of things, but I also try to get other types of stuff up on the channel as well, like uh, game reviews and, and stuff, and that definitely takes time to put together. Stem Beach, the home of stem cells, stem cell research. Ah, there we go. Nice, good straightaway here. That's that's good. I do have the GTA series. Um, I have all those on Steam. So, uh, so I do have San Andreas. I have GTA 4, GTA 5. I don't have them installed, <laughs> but I do have them. And a lot of them I just haven't played. Like, um, I think I only barely uh, played San Andreas. Yeah, but there's a lot of them that I haven't uh, haven't uh, played. Pueblo! Oh my goodness, we're actually we're actually here. Took forever, but we're here. Yeah, I don't, it's like I don't know. Should I go around this guy? Well, it seems to be taking forever to get around this guy, but... Looks like we'll be making our turn here in just just a moment here.
And here we go. Drew Dix Parkway. Man, we had one heck of a wild ride getting here, haven't we? I'd say we definitely got our money's worth out of the Colorado DLC. <laughs> In more ways than one. Actually, we didn't play the Colorado DLC. The Colorado DLC played us. I think this is it. I think this is our turn right here. <laughs> no, I'm stuck again. Come on. Uh, and of course there's vehicles all behind me too. Of course there are. Come on now. Go this way. And then kind of turn this way. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, now we gotta park this thing. Oh my word, we gotta park it there like that? Oh, this could be interesting. I could always take the easy way out, but... The experience points are relatively nice, so if I can get it to... Uh... Well, this may not be too bad. Okay, I think it goes in there. <laughs> I know everyone's like, why are you using this top view? I don't know, because I've been using this top view for so long, I'm so used to it. Because when it comes to turning these things, I am not the greatest. Oh my, this is going to be really interesting. Okay. Okay, let's try this now. Nope. I need to pull up further. So this is why I use the top view. Which one is it? Is it that one?
can't, of course we can't see anything. <laughs> I guess we'll have to use another view here. How about this one? All right. Nice. And we made it to the next level. Wow, what do we add to that? Um, how about some high value cargo? We'll add that to our next level here. Wow! Alright, that was a really long drive. But, we made it. Uh, we I guess we almost didn't but we can, but we made it I guess that's the good point about it hey want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video if so click that like button and share the video leave some comments let me know what you think about it and let me know what you think about this uh, this simulator um, if you enjoyed it I think it's I think it's fun um, I think it's a fun fun thing to jump into and it's kind of relaxing um, I guess until it's not, but you know, that that's depending upon the type of driver you are and well, you can see what kind of driver I am. Not like that in real life, so don't worry. <laughs> and hey, um, if you're new here, why not click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that way you get notified of future simulation content, which we put out on Saturdays. Sim Saturday. Uh, and there's a variety of different types of stuff that we do and you might want to get notified of when your favorite sim series has a new episode so we have content coming out throughout the week so that's where that notification bell is a good thing and another good thing is following me on twitch because if you follow me on twitch you get notified of when i go on live to do uh, live streaming you get to be a part of the show as i'm recording uh, these episodes and you get to see it raw and uncut weeks and months ahead of time also over on Instagram I take uh, pictures and photos of some projects that I work on behind the scenes gives you a little peek on some things that I'm working on and things that uh, might be coming up and then Twitter that's our way to communicate with you folks the official killer news and announcements and retweets the things that I think you might find interesting Snapchat just for a little bit of fun, short video, little picture, you know, just just fun, silly stuff. If you happen to have an account, we have one also, and that is the same with TikTok. Yeah, I have a TikTok account, working on some original material to put on there. But for right now, I got uh, mainly little videos of of my cats. So if you look, if you're a cat person and you like watching little cat videos, you might enjoy those. And then Patreon. For those, of you, for those of you who would like to support what it is that I do, you do get something in return as well. Um, early access to videos, access to the Discord server, um, exclusive stuff. Take a look at that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next assignment of our trucking adventure. Have a killer, awesome day. Mm -hmm.